Welcome to Hanging Out with Lady T and Family. Preparing our dinner. We're having homemade tacos tonight. Yes. Come on in. Share live, please. Make sure you follow. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate y'all. Getting our dinner together. Hi, Christy, Sherry, Wendy. Hey, y'all. How are y'all? In my skillet, I have ground beef, 8515, which is real ground chuck. Hey, Susan, Jennifer, and then I got chorizo, the Mexican sausage. I mix them both together to give it that Mexican flavor. And then my seasonings, I have, I put a little taco sauce, uh, taco seasoning, squeezed garlic, and uh, onion powder. And that's going to be about it. The flavor is there, y'all. <clears throat> I got some cilantro. I got some cheese. I got some onions and some lettuce. Forgot the tomatoes. Nobody really eats tomatoes anyway. But everything else is going to be delicious. And this chorizo is kind of greasy and it's seasoned to death, so you want to be re uh, very careful. Hey, Susan, Michael, Misty, and Crystal, very careful with the seasonings, y'all, because that chorizo has a lot of seasons in it itself. I don't use any salt. Like I said, I use the squeezed garlic, onion powder. Um, taco season has some salt in it, so that's what I'm saying. You have to be careful because that chorizo is... Ooh, it's salty. Salty and greasy. And you definitely want to pour the grease off. Hey, Nicole, Sue Ellen. If I miss calling y'all name, I'm very terribly sorry. I'm not doing it intentional, y'all. Trying to get this meat broken up. Hey, Amy. Hey, Gina, Leanne. How are y'all? Come on in, share the live. Come on in, share, share, share. Just doing tacos, y'all. Something really easy and quick. And y'all can see the texture of the chorizo. Hey, Shayla. And I agree. I can't pronounce your name. Sorry about that. The texture of the sausage is more, I don't want to say minced, but it doesn't have the same texture as ground beef because it's actually a sausage. So they both definitely have different textures to it. But combining both, oh my, it's, it's, it's awesome. You will not make tacos the same after this. I've been doing chorizo sausage and a ground beef 
forever. I used to just do uh, regular ground beef. Mm -mm. This is better with this chorizo. Way better. Just like you get it out the Mexican restaurant, a pig nut. And then you don't have to worry about that much seasoning either because that chorizo, it, it, it does a lot of work for it. I'm just gonna let this cook. And how I do mine is I always add my taco seasoning in there and let it cook with it. Hey, Allison. And then I will drain that grease off after the fact. But I do want my seasonings to cook with my meat. It tastes much better than me. Some of your seasonings go out with the grease, but not all. It still be perfect. And then that, um, that, that the taco seasoning, I add a little bit of water. Hey, Jennifer, a little bit of water at the end to go ahead and um, mix with that taco seasoning versus the grease mixing with it. After I throw the grease out, I just add just a little bit of water, not much. Just a little bit. So I'm gonna turn this down low. And I'm going to let it um, cook a little bit. Get those flavors ready. I think I messed up my salt, my shells, y'all. I put my shells in the air fryer. But I think I left them in there too long. But we'll see when we take, when we take our first bite. <laughs> they messed up. We always got some a backup plan. Hey, Sade. Hey, Shauna. So this will be our backup plan if they mess up, or I'll just fix some more. But these are flaming hot Cool Ranch Doritos. Hey, Kathy. Y'all come on in and share the live. Share my live out. And you see how much grease is on this stuff? It gets very, very greasy, y'all. That sauce is getting... It gets very greasy, so you, you definitely want to make sure you drain this off. You don't want to be eating all this grease. That's why I get my um, ground chuck with not a lot of grease in it, 85-15 or 80-20, uh, because it's going to be enough grease in it to eat. So you want to try to eliminate as much grease as you can when you buy your meat. And ground beef is good, too. I just like ground chuck. just about done you guys it's just about done i'll let it simmer just a little bit more i'm gonna i like to let my meat and stuff simmer so it's just about done and then we're gonna sit down and do a plate Family. Sorry about that, y'all. Hey, Dominique, Martha. How are y'all? I need my sink, guys. Just stir it up a little bit more, then I'm getting ready to drain my meat off, y'all. Like I said, it's, it's pretty much done. Y'all can see the texture that I'm talking about. The sausage texture. It's more like a grinding, more a more grinding meat. Dominique, Carrie, Sherry. Hey, Susan. How are you?
All right, y'all, I'm gonna walk away and drain my meat. Hey, Renee. Hey, Sandra and Susan. The name of my platform is Hanging Out with Lady T and Family. Y'all make sure y'all go share it. Follow, subscribe if you can. If you can, I understand. But I definitely want y'all to share, share me out. We have a family-made platform. Cook and eat and join each other. And we don't live every day. So, I try to keep the drama over on my platform. Now. Sometimes you just get caught up in it. But yeah, we're a family um, platform. You're welcome. You are welcome. Okay. So, y'all, I'm going to take this away, okay? I'm ready to drain my meat. Give me just a second. Drain this grease off. Hey Tracy and Fifi. Hey Junior. Had to drown, uh, drain my chorizo and and uh, ground chuck off of our tacos. So you may see a little bit left. I tried to drain as good as I can. You may see just a little bit, but not not much. No concern about it. And I just pour a little water over in it. Just a little bit, y'all. And it helps with that taco seasoning. Since it's powdery, it helps really to incorporate that. Even though I incorporated, you know, the grease did it, but now that I pulled it out from the grease, I just add a little water to it. Let that water get in there real good. Just like that. Now I'm going to move y'all over to the table because that's where the family is going to gather at. It's the table to get ready to eat this delicious meal. So I'm going to move y'all over first and then I'll bring the, the meat on over. So walk with me y'all. Walk with me. Excuse my jump jump. Watch that chair. I'm trying to put y'all to where I can share everybody. Unplug that. Plug it up over here. Sauce, the regular red sauce and some fire sauce the taco bell fire sauce 
I also have um, our taco shells. So we got lime crunchy taco shells and we got nacho crunchy taco shells. And like I said, I'll probably get the four. Get the four. I probably overcooked them. You can't find my page? Let me see if I can put it in a comment. Hold on one second. Let's see if I can put it in the comment, y'all. Hang on. So that's the name of my, um, this is the name of my platform here. I'm going to pin a comment, okay? I pinned it to the uh, comment. So I have my meat here, y'all. I brought my meat over. Let me push some of this stuff back. So we can have some room. So like I said, we got um, queso cheese, mozzarella, lettuce, onions, and um, cilantro. Hey, Melissa. Okay, let me know if it works for you, Miss Crowd, okay? Hey, Andrew. Let me know if you can find it, okay? And it's just the three of us eating right now, y'all. Get some napkins. So we're using paper plates. Because I don't like to wash dishes, and I got a lot of dishes here with the bowls. So we're going to use paper plates tonight, y'all. shells and then we have the nacho Doritos so I'm gonna make me a taco y'all I'm about to slam I am hungry Cheese. Come on in, y'all. Thanks for joining us. Um, please share us out. Like, follow. I'm get some cheese. I love cheese, y'all. I love a lot of cheese on it. Just like that. Get some onions. Chorizo, I mean, not chorizo, cilantro. And then I'm going to get some lettuce. Oh, my taco is stuck. I want the extra, extra hot. The first one, I believe. The first one, and a sour cream. So I got the extra, extra, extra hot sauce, chili habanero. I love spicy. 
I'm going to go right across the top with my sour cream. Now this is going to be spicy. Ooh, I pulled a lot. Y'all want one chip? Mm -hmm. We're going to let Jazz say prayer before we go in. After we wait on my slow husband and fix this taco. Oh, that sauce is hot. Oh, my God. I think he's trying to hide from the camera, y'all. And you switch your chair. This way. He's trying to get everybody in here. Jazz, I can't see you. Yeah, he don't want to be in the camera anyway, so let's see. He's doing that on purpose. Where? I don't know why she moved it. All right, y'all. Jazz, go ahead and leave us with a prayer. Oh, y'all, I'm moving y'all. I'm so sorry. Is it the same place? Hey, Victoria. Hi. How are you? This one is still dead. It just won't stay for no reason. I'm not understanding why I'm going to stay. 
So, I wish you could have found that other part. I'm sure you do. I'm gonna leave this right here. It's like everybody got up from the table, y'all. We, we apologize. Some new kind, strawberry grape or something. Yeah, this tastes good. I do not see me in here. Oh, that's why. Y'all come on in. Make sure you share us out. Chorizo, it gives you that Mexican flavor. It's way better than just ground beef. But mix it together and let it simmer. It is delicious. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. Why don't you try it? And this is the same exact sausage that they use in a Mexican restaurant as well. When I go order my food. Because I always get to Stata's tostadas and uh, tacos and I always have for chorizo. I love it. And y'all, the name of my platform is Hanging Out with Lady T and Family. We own every day. Make sure you like, share, and follow. Share, share, share us out. Follow us to the uh, notification button 
So you want Disney Labs or videos? We have a good tablet station. We just a, a family oriented platform and we would love to have y'all. I'm 
But if I drink the mandate, Ah. 
Why would you write on your progress report? Why would you do that though? That's a progress report. So you're not taking this stuff seriously. So I don't even think you need to be in our presence. Good night, we'll take your bath and go to bed. You will be in the bed from now on at 6.30 until your punishment is over with. Good night, take a bath. Because you're not taking anybody seriously.
I'm gonna need um, the bottom bottom with a bend there. Y'all, I can't see y'all comments. I am so, 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 so sorry. I don't even know who's in the room with me. I am so sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to ignore anybody, I promise you.
846 here, y'all. Time winding down. I was going to have me a little cocktail. But again, I'm so stuffed. I'm just drinking up some water right now. I want to say thank y'all for hanging in there with me. Thank you for um, staying with me while I cook and eat dinner. I think my family really appreciate it. Make sure y'all like, share, follow the page, hit the notification button so you won't miss any last videos. And we really appreciate y'all tuning in with us. We'll see you back at the same place the same time tomorrow. Until then, smooches. I try to get you on that phone. Bye, y'all. Dana Carlisha.